Uh, my name is Renzo Mancuso. I'm a biologist by training. Um, I did my PhD in Barcelona, where I specialized in a particular aspect of neuroscience that involves the inflammatory processes that happen in the brain of uh, sick people like Alzheimer's disease. Uh, with all this experience, I recently started my lab in Belgium. I'm group leader at the VIB Center for Molecular Neurology uh, and also associate professor at the University of Antwerp in Belgium. My lab focuses on the study of uh, what happens in the, in the Alzheimer's brain and we focus on a particular aspect of it that is called neuroinflammation, that is inflammatory processes that occur in the brain. Inflammation, like anywhere in your body, uh, has two aspects. It can either heal you and help healing you, or if it's uh, too much inflammation, it can be detrimental. So what we try to understand in the lab is how this inflammatory process happens in the Alzheimer's brain and what do we need to boost and what do we need to block. And to do that, we actually uh, use a variety of techniques. Uh, and what we do in general is to start from genetics, because that's where uh, the human data comes from. We look at these factors. Uh, for developing dementia in patients and then we try to elucidate what those risk factors do to the inflammatory process in the brain. If we find these common distur disturbed pathways in the, in the Alzheimer's brain then we can find new targets for therapy and tackle disease and also biomarkers to try to predict Alzheimer's prognosis. So ideally we want to start from humans then go through models in the lab and then go back to humans in order to uh, help people. Um, in, in Alzheimer's disease, um, what we see is that the disease starts very early on. So we see first uh, signs of disease in the brain. If you look at, uh, for example, imaging studies, you see uh, signs of disease when people are 30, 40 years old. And dementia only happens 20, 30 years later. What we believe is that during this process, it's some sort of incubation process, what happens is that there are multiple cellular processes going on. And, uh, and the idea behind our research is that uh, maybe initially all these processes are beneficial, they're aimed to heal the tissue, to help you out, but in, in, in the long run, in chronic conditions, those same processes, they become Mr. Hyde and they, uh, go, uh, they go bad and they start harming the tissue. So uh, processes that were there, for example, in Alzheimer's to clear amyloid plaques, they will start destroying neurons. So then it's important to find not only a balance between protective and detrimental aspects of inflammation, but also to treat patients very smartly at specific uh, time points of disease. It's not the same treating someone that has starting signs of dementia or treating someone that is at late stage. You probably want to use different approaches. It is an honor to have gotten this award, uh, uh, and not only because it means a lot for early career researchers like me that want to start uh, our own career in dementia, uh, but also because it means working with you as a foundation score that uh, do so much for the Alzheimer's community. So it's a huge honor. Um, I, I do believe we're on the right track for finding new therapies for dementia, but we still need support. So uh, this, this massive task is not done yet. So we need as much support as possible uh, to, to, uh, to help people, to, to find treatments and, and uh, ways to, to help people.